Are temperature cables tangling up your love for barbecue? Well, cut the cord with the brand new Inkbird INT11PB. Let's start the show. Today, we're unboxing and reviewing the Inkbird INT11PB, and we have a thick cut tomahawk steak to test it out on. I'm already getting hungry thinking about it. So let's go inside and unbox it. All right, now for the unboxing. And as a graphic designer, I can actually appreciate the artwork that goes into the packaging itself. Uh, here you actually see the product on the front, but it's a cutout here. So when you actually slide open the box, you see the actual open product and you have that little cutout here. I'm like, that's pretty cool. We're going to lift this up here. And here we have the Inkbird device right here. This just pops out and that is going to have the manual in here. And then this is powered by a USB-C cable. To open it, you just slide it back and that reveals the barbecue thermometer inside. What I do like about this is it does have rapid charging. So it takes about 25 minutes to charge this thing up full. It does have two sensors on here for the internal temperature reading. And then this is going to measure the ambient temperature reading. Now, as far as getting this thing paired up to the phone, so I have the Inkbird app set up. I'm going to click add a device. We are gonna do food thermometers, and down at the bottom we can see that it added the, uh, the new one, make sure device fully charged. It is, according to that green light, and it already found it, so I'm going to click on it. I will say confirm, and now the device is added. I can click on that device, and right when I lift it out, uh, it is saying it is already reading. Here we have the ambient temperature reading. Here we have the internal reading. They're both saying 75 degrees right now. If I wanted to do a cook, I can, there are the icons here. I can click on and then up at food types, it kind of shows everything of what you want to do. So, you know, ooh, I want to smoke, you know, a steak. I love that the first thing it says, do you want well done? Uh, no, that is a sin, no thank you. What if somebody wants theirs well done? We ask them politely yet firmly to leave. But it has all the USDA presets for, oh, I like my steak medium. Me personally, I like my steak medium rare. And then you can also do a custom if you wanted to do it at a certain temperature. But say if I wanted to do medium rare, all I have to do is hit complete and it will give a pretty cool display as far as oh how much further do you actually have to go it will show your target temp your ambient temp which would be inside the smoker or grill and then it does the internal now you really don't want to have this thing over direct flame this is more of if you're using it in say the oven or if you're using it in the smoker and then in the app you have the ability to change you know celsius fahrenheit do you want light mode? Do you want dark mode? And then down at the bottom here, you're going to see a graph of the cook. You have, you can do some timers if you want. This one will do after the cook is done. You can do kind of like your cooking history. Let's get out to the grill side and try it out. For the grill, I'm going to be using the Weber 26. And for charcoal, we're going to be using B&B's Competition Oak. That is an awesome combo. Let's get this grill fired up. All right, we got about 20 minutes for the charcoal to heat up, so now let's go prep our tomahawk. Now for a thick cut steak like this, you can go as simple as just salt and pepper, but I'm gonna spice it up a little bit using primetime blend rubs. This is just gonna bring the flavor through the roof, so let's get started and season it up. For the first rub we're gonna go with, it is primetime's unicorn all-purpose seasoning. Silly name, but great, great flavor. And you want to make sure you get all sides. Next, I'm going to hit it up with their bovine shine. This has a little spice to it, but it's also going to give it a really nice color. All right, she's all seasoned up. I do have one more rub, which is Primetime's cow glitter. And this is actually going to go at the very end of the cook before we carve in. So we're going to set this to the side. All right, let's get these coals into the kettle. And we're going to want to make sure we bank the coals to one side. And now we're going to get our grill grates uh, directly over these coals. Let's close down the lid. 
and we're gonna have this thing come up to temp. All right, the seasoning sweated beautifully into the meat. So now let's get this on the grill grates. All right, let's get this on. And we're gonna have it on about two minutes per side and we're gonna rotate it every 60 seconds. All right, we're gonna get this off and we're going to flip it, put it right back down. All right, let's lift this up. Woo, that is beautiful. Now let me set these down. All right, let's lift this up. Look at that. I mean, come on. That's about as good as you're gonna get. I tell you what. All right, doesn't get any better than that. All right, now this is where our ink bird is gonna come into play. Now I get it, this steak looks absolutely beautiful and appetizing, but it is not ready to eat and I will show you why. All right, I have the app opened up. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to stick this in to the thickest part of the meat. And so now we're measuring an internal reading of about 68 degrees, 66, see how it keeps on dropping. Even though the outside looks good, we now have to bring that internal temperature up. So let's go to cook. We're gonna go to beef, and we are going to set it to medium rare, how I like it, and we're gonna hit complete. So now we're gonna put this back on the grill, indirect from the heat, and we are going to wait until just before it comes up to medium rare. So we are going to put this right here. Again, the coals and hot are over here. We have our probe in here, and now we are going to close this up. Looks can be deceiving. That steak looked like it was cooked. We had been very, very disappointed, and a tomahawk steak is a very expensive steak. You don't want to get it wrong. That's why we are going to trust Inkbird on this one. One other thing I actually like about the Inkbird case itself is the base of it is magnetic. You can actually just slap it onto the metal and it will stick. So I do like that feature about it. Now's the good part. Now all we gotta do is just kick back, drink a cold one, and we'll tune back in when this steak is ready. One hour later. All right, she is ready to pull. Oh, look at the color on that. All right, let's pull this off to rest. Now mind you, we are going to leave the thermometer in place and it is gonna let us know when it is done resting. The app is saying it is ready to go. It is rested. Now before we slice in, I'm gonna hit it up with the prime time cow glitter. Now I'm going to pull our probe straight out and you can basically just clean this, charge it back up. She's ready to use. All right, let's carve in. I don't know about y'all, but now is my favorite time, the taste test. Let's dig in. Cheers, guys. It don't get better than that. Flavor is through the roof right now. All right, here are my final thoughts after using the Inkbird INT11PB. I just enjoyed one of the best Tomahawk steaks I've ever had, so I'm sold. I love it. If you are interested in checking this out, I will put the Amazon link in the description so you can check it out. So having something completely wireless, you can just basically put it in there and keep it in there all the way through the rest ensures you'll get a perfect steak and perfect results every single time. You can't beat that. I would say my only con is comparing it to the other Inkbird thermometers. The probe size itself is bigger. 
But honestly, that's not a deal breaker for me, and I will be using this thermometer going forward for my cooks. You get so used to wires, and then you go wireless, and you're like, man. It's like going from the old school phones that you have to have a cord on, and now you have a cell phone, and you're like, why would I ever want to go back to corded? Let me know what I should cook next, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Girls, start you now.